casting him tomorrow. <laughs> so I take it there is no four fun question answer in there. No, there wasn't. That, that is like a four fun question answered in and of itself. There wasn't. Uh, there wasn't enough there, room for look, the actual. The whole point of those things. Uh, the whole point of those things, guys, is to like give the the players a chance to like throw a bit of their personality into this. We got all the personality of Man Bond from that. Sense. Oh yeah, so, yeah. No, I mean he's. We're, we're good. Not that any of you don't know anything about Otter and Man Bond at this point. Hard but to still. suppress. Hard to suppress his personality. He's. He's, he's very. Uh, he's very powerful. <laughs> yep. Alright, that was hilarious too, by the way. I loved that message. I hope he was listening to that and he's laughing his head off in the other channel right now. <laughs> Just randomly screaming his brains out and everyone's like, What? What is going what on? What happened? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Man Bond laughed. Oh, <laughs> Except you gotta well you gotta I mean you gotta Let's not let's not get to real volumes, but the yeah, no. I tried to keep that. To I tried really to keep project. it. <laughs> I tried to keep really it as mellow project. as possible. <laughs> yeah, you gotta be you gotta be talking at your mic like it's a mile away. But, all right. Anyway, all yeah. right. Enough of enough of digging into man bun. Let's go ahead and start this cast. Yeah, here we go. Starting to count down. First map is going to be Prion Terraces for you guys. Should be pretty good. Kind of weird. This is the uh, natural gold uh, map. Note that I said anything that was used in a 1v1 season. It's possible that this may be the original version of a map. Now that I look at it, I don't think it is. Um, yeah, it's got. The I was going to say, it's yeah, they the changed the... On. Wait. The spawn point is there. Oh, yeah, okay, yeah, that is correct. Okay, that's the most recent version. So we're seeing... As is appropriate, we're seeing some games from this season, which you actually haven't occurred. Yet. Pretty good. Okay. Cool. Why don't you start us off? All right, start us off then in the top left-hand corner of the map, the orange Zerg player. It's Predator. In the bottom right part of the map, spawning as we expected, unsurprisingly, it is Manbon randoming as the Teal Terror. I'm yay. <laughs> Let's not beat that point in the ground too hard. <laughs> now I gotta know for a moment. I got a moment here. Okay, this map is actually in the ground. It's not in space. Yes, you can see that it is on the ground. In the ground. Yep. Is this what? Is this the one with mothership cores? No. Okay. No. 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 There's a giant powered pylon here down by the gold of uh, Otter there. Or no, I mean oh, yeah, Manbot. It, it has yeah, the, the super pylons. If you look in the bottom left corner, you'll see one of those energy bridges that's not powered up. Ooh. From the campaign. Wouldn't want to be standing on that one right now. <laughs> that would be kind of a pain. Cool. <laughs> You're high tempo, are you? have to float to the ground and be like, hey! <laughs> Where did this go? For? Come on, man! Used up all of my storm energy trying to survive that fall. <laughs> Right. Oh, yeah, very anyway, good. So, um, so far, usual stuff. Gas first from... Uh, not gas first. Is it? Is it? Uh, I think it was... How much? How long should you spend mining from that? Not that long. Okay, yeah, it's probably hatch first, I think. Yeah, yeah, hatch first. Hatch first, pool. gas, and then... Yep, typical otter opening here. Very economic-focused. Uh, man bond. Pushing straight into factory tech already. Double gas opening. No reaper on the map. So, he, yeah, he skipped the Marine and the Reaper all together, and he's going into Quick Tech Lab plus Factory. So, that he's lifting immediately. He's not even going to go for Stim. So, this is telling me that I think he wants to go for Fast Widow Mines. That's going to be my guess here. I don't really know Terran well enough to, like, say that 100% for sure. But I wouldn't be surprised if he wants to do that. Maybe Widow Mine drop. Construct oh, no, Cyclone. Okay. Cyclones, yeah. He yeah. likes those cyclones. We saw felt, this last series. Felt like they I was played, forgetting yeah. something. Yeah. But okay. So those cool. can those like, can shoot up, right? So he yes. can totally troll these overlords out of his base. Once this thing shows yes. up, he can target fire. I don't it. think he can kill them fast enough to prevent, like, to actually kill them if they run far enough, though. But I am not a hundred percent sure. In any case, he can he can really wreck otters. Stay with those. Yep, Cyclones are kind of scary. Is for sure. Yep, he's going to expand too on top of this. Cyclone moving right. out. 
not doing anything with it just yet and grab yeah grabbing the expansion okay so for otter we should see her expand again here i think uh she's grabbing more gas but like with the amount of minerals that she's piled up i can't i would be very surprised if she didn't do that at the very least ah uh, okay. now the plan comes spire. together fire quick spire I feel like you still want a third base for the gas, but I guess you can do two base me then. It's always been a thing. This is gonna be weird against what Manbon is going, because until he gets the upgrade, which I believe you need an armory for, which is just about to finish, uh, these cyclones really don't do a lot of damage. They're annoying, don't get me wrong, but like <laughs> they take forever to kill anything. And yeah, there's a third. Yeah, there's a the third. Overworld. Of course. Other gold, why gold not? Spending. Uh can they target buildings? I can't remember if Cyclones can target buildings. I don't I don't think so. Uh I think we last time we saw these, Manbon brought them out. I don't they target larva. I think that's as close to building as they this, get. Yeah, this is a great move. Get in there, target the queen, kite around it at the distance. Is that you or me? That's me. Okay. Well whatever. Kite them at a distance <laughs> Somebody. And, then taking out, and then taking out workers. No, that's coming from my side. Okay. Oh, is that you? Going? I'm going to figure out. Oh, going. right. Okay. The so Cyclone's running in here, destroying all these drones. Uh, they can target buildings. That's kind of scary to think about. Drones running home, though. Focusing down these larvae, hopefully before uh, things pop here for Manbon. Holy crap, tons of damage. Three Cyclones just wrecking the day. Yep, seven meters on the way, though. This should be pretty good once these pop. Otter will be able to push him out of here. Yep. First okay, meter back. Pops. Yep. First meter pop there. Crying. Oh. <laughs> she, did not, she did not have the vents above the <laughs> above the stove on. That's okay. Problem is solved. Okay, I thought it was me because it was very, very clear. <laughs> well, I'm good. I'm glad to know that my mic can pick up something. Yeah. Uh, anyway, cool. He actually got a hatchery out of that. Nice. Yeah, he got the hatchery. Ooh, they can, they can, leave, though. they can target buildings. Just found that out a couple minutes ago. Mutas okay. are going to come in, but the first couple mutas that popped actually got destroyed by them at the natural base there. Now she's down a hatchery. And no more gas mining. So these mutas are going to be it for now. It's a significant amount of damage, but uh, especially into the, the larva production ability here. And, of course, reducing her down to the working capacity in terms of mining. But the question is, like, what kind of return damage can we see here? The mutas don't go down real quickly, as you can see here. Three, three cyclones attacking a single muta is what we need to, like, get any reasonable speed on that. Ooh. And the mutas do pretty good damage, though, so they're, they're going to go down pretty quick here. There's no defensive turrets in place, though, so as soon as these uh, cyclones disappear, there isn't really any defenses left. The power of kiting. Oh, man. Yep, a lot of CVs here, nice and juicy. Mewler's going to sit right on top of this middle line. Cyclone's coming out. Yeah, I guess the rate at which these things are coming out, wow. he can basically just keep them back this way. But he can't leave, and he can't really do damage. So if Otter can recover her worker, like, her mining... Ooh, needs to be careful then, about this uh, uh, this rally too, though. Should be good. I want to rally these things right into the cyclones. Oh, coming back! Another rally. Ouch! Yeah. Three mutas going down. This will be the fourth one. Pretty scary here. This will so, turn up. Yeah. I don't think Otter has really had enough return damage here. And to be honest, against cyclones, you probably want links. By the way, just throwing that out there. They have to target each link one at a time. And they do real shitty jobs with that. Yep, yep, yep. She's still trying to push into drones here. Nothing really coming out. Cyclones pushing across the map, and only cyclones. Okay, so we got mutas. She's gonna make any, we got anything else, or is it just this is just a larva thing at this point? Yeah, she's got five larva. Okay. Ooh. Well, well, yeah. <laughs> Not a lot we can do. There we go. Checking yeah. the space here. I think Manbon's production is just going to kind of take over this game here. Yeah, it looks like comes it. more cyclones. And then it's, yeah, you guys are just going to die before the numbers can get large enough. Here we go, we're going to move in, take out this queen pretty quick. And, uh, wow. Yep, Otter's going to yeah, have the GG here. Yeah, yeah, that's GG.
Yep, yep. Okay. Excellent. Cyclones, they hurt. Yeah. Pretty painful. Yeah, that random thing. Like, every time you load into the menu, it chooses a different thing for the home screen. That's pretty cool. I had Nova when I jumped on, and now I have Garex. Yeah, I think, uh, I think I'm leaving it Nova. I may, may or may not be biased. Um. <laughs> Shut up, Chris. I, I, I just <laughs> like all the things, that's all. <laughs> oh, cool. So how are you guys in the chat doing? You got the ploy, man bon. Hello, man bon. They're talking about strats. Wink, wink, wink. <laughs> ah, the cyclone strats. Yeah, Everyone cool. thought their alarm went off. Okay, yeah. Yeah, yeah. so uh, there we go. <laughs> I thought it was me, but I'm pretty sure dinner is over with, so... <laughs> I was very confused there for a moment. I didn't know. <laughs> dinner? Yeah. Sirens are a common element of your dinner? <laughs> no. Okay. I mean, good. maybe. Maybe only okay. when I'm cooking. <laughs> uh. Everyone's telling Chris to go read a book. So here's the thing. Here's the thing. Uh, yeah, it was just deploy. Right? It was just deploy. Yes, it was. <laughs> but still, uh, like, I know what you mean. But by the way, I like I have a recipe for making scrambled eggs that uses cream, right? Like. Uh, just like creamer, basically. And I realized I could actually use coffee, flavored coffee creamer for this, so I made vanilla scrambled eggs. Ooh. Which surprisingly tastes amazing. Oh, that now, sounds incredible. Now, wait, what kind? For whatever. Uh, Is there a specific used, brand? No, just vanilla coffee creamer, but it has to be like the liquid kind. Oh, that it sounds. Can be like the, the powdered oh, stuff. That sounds incredible. And I just like, I use the exact same number, like amount of teaspoons. Uh, or tablespoons rather that I would use for normal creamer. Yeah. Now, the only weird thing about it was that it took longer to cook. <laughs> but like, oh. other than that, it like worked totally fine. It gets it's completely reasonable. But that sounds might, really cool. You might burn them. That's the problem with it. Oh. Huh. No, I have to but try that. That's experiment. that's pretty cool. Um, yeah. No. Usually, I do put um, in my scrambled eggs. I put milk. It makes them more fluffy. Yeah. It makes them nice and fluffy. So I think the creamer thing is. Yeah, wow. That's <laughs> why have I never thought yeah, it's, that? It's good. <laughs> I looked it up. I got it from a recipe. It's oh, good. okay. Okay. Well, you found it before I did. <laughs> Here we go. Game two now. We're going to Ulrena. You know what that means. Um, Manbon is probably going to lift off and drop again. Maybe. Maybe. <laughs> uh, actually. Would probably get him killed if he did that. I would be very impressed if he if he did that at this point. <laughs> In the bottom left part of the map, we have our orange Zerg player. It is Red Otter. And her opponent spawning the top left hand corner of the map. Teal Terran again. It's Mr. Manbon. Did not lift off this game on this map. Uh, spamming that APM too. I'm sure, he's got those uh, numbers up about 300. Pretty good. Otter sitting at a comfortable 50. <laughs> this makes sense for impressing your friends, but if you do this regularly, you hurt your hands. <laughs> Careful, Mad Bun. We don't want you to lose fingers. Of course, in his case, I'm sure he's fine. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so otter hatch before pool. Here we go, dropping the uh, dropping the gas before the pool as well. Pretty standard. Manbon uh, blocking off the wall, going for single gas this time. There's like a symbol in this island part of the map with the with the golds. Like if you look at those little circular things, they look like less detailed versions of the hero symbol. That was the first thing I thought. No neat. The Nexus. The Nexus symbol. 
right. Alright. And Overlord coming over here, not saying anything too crazy. More from this orbital command now. Nope. Um, one gas. So I'm guessing an expansion. Yep, there it is. Okay, so it looks like we're heading into a standard-ish macro game. Gonna get to at least two bases and then have some fun. So, yes. I'll wait for the uh, tech to take off here. Man, it is the end of April. It is the end of April. Next month is May. It went quick. You know what happens in May? I hope. Watch. And the 24th. We know that it is, of course, on the 3rd as well. Yes. The last, what, five and, days, I believe? Yeah. Our stone expansion in two days. So a bunch of stuff happening. Plenty to do. Plenty to do indeed. Uh, so I'm playing, like, I played a couple games Overwatch earlier, being in the post beta, and that actually will go down on, uh, uh, tomorrow, actually. Ooh. And like you said, it will become, instead of only watch, it will be no watch. Yes. Never watch. No one watch. No one watch. No one watch. There we go. No overwatch. <laughs> Dev watch. <laughs> Which is fine. Like, I think... For a lot of people, this would probably be, like, extremely withdrawal-inducing, but I don't think it'll do that to me, because, like, the most fun I ever had playing this with this game was when everybody was in it, or when one of one or two of the people that were I knew who were in it decided to get on it. Right, so, right. Well, it, it is... So, like, I'm gonna be like, cool, I can wait for that. Well, it's like our <laughs> wait was for Heroes, you know? It's like, well, this is fun, but I can't wait till everybody gets in here, and, you know, then the fun explodes, and it's really great. Exponential fun. Exponential fun. Exponential increase. No diminishing returns. <laughs> <laughs> Alright. So, we've had a little bit of time to go on here. We have... What going on here on the map? Speed is just about to finish. We have plus one attacks for the Zerg as well as Roach Warren now in production. On the turn side of the field, we have a Liberator coming out as well as plus one weapons for Bio. Baby. So we're going to, I guess, Liberator Bio? Maybe siege tanks, maybe not. Yeah, he's gone. He's got hellions coming down. So I, oh, does he have a? Uh, he's got a reactor on his factory. Looks like he's planning to pump those out instead. He's finally expanding, dropping both gases here. Gonna need it if he's gonna go down the factory route. Reaper coming in, trying to figure out what's going on again. Back here and see. Roach Warren. He's got to know this is coming. Oh no, not gonna see it. Well, yeah. Reaper got into the base, got distracted from his job. Oh, it's he the drugs. Completed. The drugs, man. He just got... Yeah, drugs were healing him up, but he felt really good. <laughs> so he yeah. spaced out. Got caught up in it. Then a bunch of Zerg bones got smashed into his body, and he was like, ah, this doesn't feel good anymore. <laughs> maybe he did, I don't know. I don't know how strong those drugs are. That Liberator's going to take this guy out. This Overlord cannot escape. No escape from Goodbye. Slow death. Ba boom <laughs> <laughs> Surprisingly good noise, especially part of the first part of that sound effect we made. <laughs> 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 step step back coming out for for Terran. Got the armory coming down probably for those uh, air upgrades. That's probably a good move. Uh, these liberators are gonna be pretty good. We got a Hellion's movement in to try and do some damage here. They have a really good, they had a really good attack angle, but uh, unfortunately they got a little too far out there before the uh, Lings engaged. The National the Wall killed half the Hellions. But Liberator is not in position, and we have Rings here as well, which should be able to. Uh, yeah, that'll so be more than that. Queen poking the Liberator in the butt. Liberator's like, man, I'm gonna watch this creep tumor real, real close. Guy moves no, on the way. I forget that these creep tumors, like the ones that are like orangey and can be spread, are actually cloaked. Yes. Actually, that's Never true for that. that's true for Zagara as well in uh, Heroes. It's kind of an yeah. interesting mechanic. At first, I thought it was a difference, but I don't know. It's definitely not. <laughs> <laughs> the Marines would be auto attacking them. So, okay, this is an interesting position. Uh, the Liberators, I don't believe, will actually attack the buildings, but. They are going to chip away at anything that tries to come out to the ramp here, which means that any future reinforcements 
from the uh, Terran have a nice window of opportunity here. He can actually just move these guys further in and see the defense, but it looks oh. like Man Bomb's going to focus on the defense. We got a bunker here, with the Liberator going up, and Hellions. I don't think these Lings are going to really get anything done, unfortunately. Well, these Hellions are sleeping on the job, man. There we go. Clean up the Lings there in the mineral line. Pretty good, pretty good. So all in all, nope. pretty, pretty effective attack here, and these Liberators are still hanging out. This Queen's oh. going to get splatted again, unfortunately. Yeah, well, so basically, Otter's uh, unit supply is just getting a knife in the side because there's the uh, Queen production is constantly getting screwed with here. But, okay. <laughs> this Hellion poke yeah, on the hatchery. This is one way to kill a hatchery. It takes about as long as Ling, one Ling trying to kill the rocks does. And, uh, yeah, fighting under the bridge is just going to be bad for you. Uh, Otter moves through and just engages the units past where the Liberator fields are. There we go. Good. Getting these, uh, getting this army unit stuff uh, back up and running, but ouch. Lost two roaches there out of the three that came out. That's a lot of larva. How many kills do these guys have? Oh, we got one. one. Had, the one that just died had about 18. One has four. And it's still picking these off. Two shots takes out a roach. Oh. Ouch. Jeez. Basically, about 30 supply has gone down to these things. That's insane. Very efficient. Yeah, that one's up to seven kills now. Not a whole lot Otter can do at the moment. There are spore crawlers here just in case, but yeah, running them through this field on the rally is... <laughs> so painful. This one, this one queen could kill this thing because it's field. It's awesome. Yeah, here we go. Still gets a roach on the way. Oh, not quite. He's gonna leave. He's gonna go home. <laughs> Nine kills. So 27 kills between the two of them, which is pretty great. <laughs> Definitely not something super, to complain about. Yeah, super good. Super good. That third, uh, third command center coming down for Manbon there. Otter spots it uh, quite handily. That Overlord. <laughs> Hellbats on the way. A couple more liberators and plus two. Weapons for bio, plus one uh, coming out range for otter. So this is interesting, like, at, unsurprisingly we saw a little bit of an increase in otter supply, you know, difference between Mambon and her just as a uh, result of those liberators being driven away. But you'll notice that Manbon has actually 10 more workers than Zerk. Yes. Which means that he has time on his side. <laughs> as Tracer would say. I'm on um, his side. <laughs> We so have Overwatch really on the brain, man. To do. Yeah, 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 yeah. I love that game. Yes. I, like, I've played more than 100 games of that largely on my own, which <laughs> says a lot when I say that I didn't enjoy that nearly as much as I did when I was playing with everybody. So, yeah. Uh, okay, the roaches are going to get in there. Uh, put some more roaches. Ouch, ouch. My Ooh. roaches. The okay. greater is so painful. Ow. Popping these now roaches. The thing is, though, Otter's, like, army supply has been more consistently strong and most of it for Manbon is still back at home which is probably wise given the way Otter just keeps running around the back and it's like hey you got defenses okay <laughs> just <Yep>. checking <laughs> yeah because if you didn't I'd murder all your shit wow <laughs> so better yeah. keep some stuff at home a lot of lings coming out here too just some body blocking for these roaches uh Manbon. oh roaches. Manbon's getting stuck here in the choke point you need to be careful five liberators now Okay, what is Otter doing? Is, is Otter grabbing anything to help deal with these things? She's getting Hydra's group spines coming out. I don't think they're going to be here in time, though. He's scanning ahead. He's moving moving across this, setting up position. Yeah. Set up the field of doom. So I much know coverage. they're actually isolated outside of the base now. Wings are moving in. Wings do die pretty quickly thanks to the Hellbats. He's going to get a little bit further in there. This is looking okay for Manbon, actually. Wow. Liberator coverage. Still some units here moving up into the natural base. Gonna take out this, uh... Nope. Yeah, can take out the hatchery. Well, that's that. Otter calling it. Well played, well played. Positioning in a stronger economy. Pretty well done. And Liberators help, too. A lot. That they do. Especially in when there are five of them. <laughs> Well played, well played. Hey, it's a covert muffin. Planets. How's it going, sir? I random the planets this time. <laughs> <laughs> Go, Wings of Liberty. 
menu screen. Yeah, I'm I sorry, uh. I know there's no need to say this. No, that's, that's okay. I mean, I'm checking. I still got Nova, so. Shout out to uh, Morning Dumps for the final time. I think, uh, think we need to, to do that, make sure. <laughs> they added a sound effect for the Hyperion flying by. Oh, they did? It was like... Yeah, it was not... And then it like charged up the engines and took off. It was, it was silent before, yeah. Yeah, it was totally quiet before. <laughs> I do what? <laughs> it just blows my mind. Okay. <laughs> I haven't actually used that in such a long time. Question marks everywhere. Question One, mark. two, three, three, four, five, six. <laughs> Morning dumps, you say? Hashtag. Yes, go with Morning dumps. How was your uh, How was your trip, sir? I trust it was uneventful. I assume you you flew. Good. Saw a lot of your pictures from from PAX. Looked like a blast. <laughs> <laughs> So cool. So final, uh, not the final. This is the third game in the best of five on Frozen okay. Temple. Fro fi final, final match. I'm still stuck on the the word final here. We'll go final, ahead. Final, 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 final. Morning dumps. Final f match. Final. You know. <laughs> <laughs> Man von Rosanner. Frozen Temple. Here we go. Countdown. Oh, he took a train because he was an hour away. Much cheaper. Yeah, Frozen Temple. Let's get some... Is this in the map pool, actually? I don't... I don't know. I don't remember. If it is, it's been vetoed every single time because we have not seen yeah, it. Yeah, we never... It doesn't matter. Either way, we never see it. So we're going to see a game on Frozen Temple. Frozen Temple coming at you in the snow. On and in the top left. Orange Zerg. It is Otter. Two. Down to the bottom right of the map, we have our teal Terran currently ahead two to zero. Is the bonbon also randoming again once is Terran? Terran three times in a row. Terran three times in a row, three for three. TVT TVZ. So I know some people will look at that and be like, that's really unrealistic. It's not obviously really being random. No, that's actually what real random strings of numbers look like. They have weird, like, streaks in them. Mm -hmm. That's how you know it's real. That's actually how you know it's real. Yes. True random. An, an artificially generated um, string of uh, random numbers will actually be, will not have streaks in it. And you can, that's kind of one way to tell. They, it's only actually going to hit 50% over a very large number in reality. Hmm. So yay, stats... Eh. Kind of like observation. There's no logic for why that happens. It just adds to. Well, the human brain is built to recognize differences and patterns. Yep. So you notice a pattern. Clearly, it's going to be much more prominent than. Okay, we can apply this to psychology as well. Yes. Mr. Manbomb, you got the uh, SCV on patrol. There we go. Drop in the command center. So both players expanding. Gonna get a little slow, slow roll here started. Spawning pool not quite complete for Otter yet. Got the single gas, saving up that uh, gas for speed. My only gas coming down for man bomb. That was a little bit behind. I wonder if that's uh, hmm. telltale to anything here. Maybe, maybe he's, not. He's, he's, his his minerals look like they're like they're staying low. So. He's got a plan and he's executing it, is what I'm getting here. And I think it's just a quick expansion at that side effect. Second barracks now on the way. Alright. He has the Marines to just kill this Overlord, so let's see if that happens. Oh, it's gonna fly right at a line of fire. We're... Oh, no, he's like, done. No, run. Look yeah, that guy's... No, 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 he just popped and went down the pit. Bye-bye. Oh, yep. Goodbye, Overlord. <laughs> it was nice knowing you. So you have speed on the way. About half complete. Plus one melee. And uh, Ling's, Ling's starting to come out here. Engineering Bay coming down for Manbon. 
Looking a lot like last game. Factory coming down as well. Probably pushing into uh, some minor Hellion play. Or Starport, depending on if he decides to focus on Bio, that's totally an option. Hmm. Couple add-ons and, and the like. I'm thinking he'll pr probably have something fun for us. Meanwhile, Otter is going Banelings! Banelings! The claw is coming out. Back to the base. Nasty Baneling claw. It's like a skeleton. It is actually one of the weirdest looking structures in the game. It really is. I it. mean, even the it's spire kind of like floating, looks normal compared to... It looks like a floating crab. Yep. With a pit of eggs. <laughs> Just below it. We don't even see some weird anyway, nest, we got, yeah. <laughs> of course, we got we got the usual park the lanes just outside vision radius and transform into baneling strategy. Yep, definitely doesn't see these. Plenty of room to do that. Okay, so one more thing about the hmm. decals on the floor. It looks like a monkey with two ears. Where? where? You notice where the Nexus logos are? In between two Nexus logos is a face. At least it looks oh, yeah. like it. <laughs> He's like, wow! Um, He's got his mouth open. <laughs> Did he get distracted? <laughs> sure, why not? <laughs> <laughs> ah, it looks angry. Look at all the faces. All the monkeys on the floor. Everywhere. Meanwhile, Baylings are morphing while the casters are needlessly distracted. Yeah. Gonna bust oh, right yeah. through this wall. There is a absolutely. <laughs> there is a widow mine here. This should do some decent damage if it can get that yeah, shot look off. At that. Look at that bailing. Look at that bailing thing. The structure. It's got like a spider web and then eggs at the bottom and then eggs in it at the top and just floating there. Oops, anyway, bailing set in the base. There's no supply depot. Widow mine is dead. The rest of the bailings and the uh, and the lings are getting into the base now. Uh, they're gonna go from the Whoa! Mine. Good Pop hit there. Up. Good hit. Excellent damage done so far by Otter taking out most of the mining at the natural base. Let's see what her follow-up is. Is she going to go into more links? She's going up to high tech. Or is that layer tech? My brain is not function. <laughs> layer tech. Layer first, Sorry. yeah. No, it's okay. Oh, that, that Widow Mine got 10 kills on one shot. Took out Ooh. all those links. That was crazy. So yeah, Otter may have overspent a little bit for that, and is not really spending enough of her minerals quick enough to... She might actually have a hard time defending this. It's just one medevac with some marines, so this should be something she can hold, but... Uh-oh. Uh-oh. The Ling's engaged separately. Two Widow Mines now in play. Oh, okay. This actually could be really bad. What am I going to fly down and fire Ow! well with a bunch of marines? There it goes. Tons of friendly fire going down there. Oh, that marine almost dying, but not quite to the queen. Gonna move right in here. All these drones being pulled, trying to surround. Uh, there is a medevac here. It's gonna be extra painful. That, oh, that probably needed to happen sooner. That's too bad. Oh, uh, here we go. Link splitting out, doing what they can, getting destroyed here. Marines balling up. Widow mines moving in, taking yeah, over the spot. Yeah, got on the yep. production. There we the go. Exact like. The center spot between all of the Zerg bases is actually the production rally point in most cases. It's the equivalent of getting on top of the Terrence production for Zerg. It's very, very deadly. Right, right. Oh, wow. Well, pretty well done okay. there by Manbon. That's a 3 0 there in the best of five. Yeah. He did take that. Excellent job. Uh, Otter definitely had some chances to make some stuff happen there, and I'm guessing that might have been just a practice difference or just a freak accident. Like they play a lot of games to each other, uh, games with each other, and that means, of course, yeah, they do. Else. One person's getting the upper hand over the other. But uh, yeah, so guys, that's that. Quite literally, we are done with the show matches. We will not be running them anymore from this point forward. Uh, as Chaosity was mentioning in the chat, Chaosity is GTA for helper, and uh, we will be playing a match tomorrow. But this will not be broadcasted. We're gonna pile into a group on Saturday, and we'll just watch it there. So my broadcast is just going to be in a party, hanging out, enjoying a game. Maybe make fun of me if I play Zerg really badly. <laughs> but we'll see. We'll see. We'll have some fun and uh, maybe reminisce. I don't know. But the point is, guys, it's been good. Uh, don't know what we're doing next still. We haven't talked about it. Uh, we got May for that. But we'll catch you again for whatever we do in June.
Yes, yes, happy trails indeed. Thanks for all of your support over the years. It's been it's been three years. I, I keep looking back at that and I go, holy crap. Yeah, we cast a lot of StarCraft. At least every single weekend, and then we switch to the bi-weekly format. I mean, we have hundreds, if not thousands, of games uh, games casted, all available still on the YouTube channel. Those aren't going away. We'll keep those archives there for you. If you ever want to peruse yep. any of those, definitely uh, we'll still be still be online. Yeah. So I will be uh, going to the Facebook group, the Discord channel, all that, and I'm going to be labeling them all old DKS, just so everybody knows, like, if there's a new version of this that's created, that these are the old groups. A little bit of a separation there. So whoever takes over next, they can be themselves in their own spotlight. Yes, yes, yes. Uh, beyond that, uh, absolutely thanks to everybody that's helped out, played, or watched the show matches over the past two and a half to three years. Hope you guys had a great time. And special thanks to you as well, Zeros. This definitely never would have happened if you didn't. Oh, no, yeah, no. We had the idea, and we just executed it. It was uh, it was my pleasure, sir. And uh, you as well. We had, with your <laughs> administrative, uh, I wouldn't say powers, necessarily. But uh, <laughs> you did organize the entire thing, and we do appreciate that. Uh, you wrangled several hundred cats every week, so. <laughs> ah, well, it was fun. <laughs> Hopefully it doesn't turn into a job one day. Yeah, anyway, <laughs> that's very nah, exhausting. I'm just kidding. <laughs> I'm just kidding. But yeah, it, it was fun. So, I mean, I enjoyed it. That's, that's why I did it for that long. Yep. And uh, one thing I will throw out as well is this is just kind of a thing to, to actually know about is Day9 directly, like, indirectly inspired this. Because one time, like, here's the thing. My actual casting experience goes back further than the past two and a half years. I was casting games on my YouTube channel regularly for a year before that on my own. Yes, I do remember and this. And I yeah. just didn't know where to go with this, because obviously there's a billion channels doing it at the time. I wasn't standing out at all, and I got, like, next to no viewers. So I was sitting there going, like, what do I do? And then one thing Day9 actually said is he's like, look for something that doesn't exist. Look for a hole that doesn't exist that you think people would have some interest in, and just do it. And I was like, okay, what exists? We have tournaments have normal games if you're a pro there's also these things called show matches so i tried to emulate that as closely as possible and uh also to be honest like he did call us out on twitter at one point and that was how we got a first a good group of people oh you know, yeah yeah we never would have that first thing yeah off. it never would have kicked off i mean it was it was pretty quiet you know we were just getting things rolling and then uh i don't even know how maybe he was perusing the forum or somebody Oh yeah. Alerted him to it, but he tweeted, and suddenly signups went kaboom, and then, there we go. <laughs> a couple, a couple hundred people were waiting to. We used to have that stupid, like, okay, this is before I knew what I was doing. I used to organize this through a forum thread, if you can believe it. Yep. Yeah, that I remember that. Nat that was stupid. <laughs> it was not. I supposedly drove like a, a giant chunk of the traffic to the site though for a while, but like it. Um, then eventually we switched to the email system that worked a lot better actually got the sign-up sheet that helped a lot. Oh, so much better. Oh, yeah. man. So much stuff, dude. Wow. <laughs> but, yeah. Very like good. So that's cool. Just to let you guys know, I'm going to continue to help out with Team Richter's Day, so you'll still see me around there. And, of course, we'll still see me around Staten. Oh, yep. Else. No, we'll definitely make cast cameos. Uh, we do like helping cover with that, we so... Won't, uh... We won't get to sleep here. <laughs> we won't be, uh, we won't be I don't know, you know what? Maybe this will open up some time for us to be able to stream on our personal channels as well. Uh, like so. actually play? Yeah, that would yeah, be nice. Yeah, that would be kind of cool. So I'll figure out something. Something. Every once in a while. Be good. Yes. We're not going away. There's the Discord, all that fun stuff. So, once again, thanks for hanging out with us. It's been fun, and we'll see you next time for whatever that is. Yeah, thank you all very, very much. We'll see you guys later.